The next thing to look at is a roof covering. So here I have a bunch of roofs. Let's just grab all of those. We'll quickly go CAD image coverings and we want roof coverings. So again, we have a lot of options, but let's just pick up the speed a little bit because I'm aware of the time here. We've got various options for the defaults, but let's just go cladding and we can choose different types of cladding depending on what we require. So let's go for shingle. This can be made to look like regular slate or tiles as we've shown in the UK here. We can set the sizes, we can set the width, the thickness, sorry. We can set the overhang at the end. We can choose to turn on or off the battens. In fact, it's worth showing in there that we have different profiles that we can show. We can set what happens with the edge boards, what the profile is. We can set all the materials, the various bits and pieces. We can control the soffits. So it could be sloping or flat. Set the overhang. So the overhang in this case is only 300 mil. We'll make that 12 mil. We can choose what happens on the ends of the barges. We can set the properties for the flashings. And we can also apply gutters and downpipes. So I'm going to go for a quarter round just for the sake of changing things. There's also display options to choose what displays either in plan or what elements display on each particular story, whether it's the home story, above or below, whatever that happens to be. So I'm just going to hit OK, and you'll see that goes and applies the roof covering. So when we go back to 3D, we can see how it's starting to look. There's a couple of bits I need to tweak with it. I haven't changed any of the surfaces so far. Uh, you'll see I have gutters. I don't actually have downpipes yet because I have to come back and add those. But quite nice and quickly, it has added a considerable amount of detail to what was a very simple roof structure in the first place. So if I now just grab all these roof elements, and what I'll do is I'll just go and quickly change some of the surfaces so you can see how those appear. So one of the nice things with this particular cladding type is if we do a light, a sort of randomised surface to this tile finish, um, the framing I don't need, the edge boards, what I tend to do with these here is go and paint them silly colours because then they definitely stand out. So the soffits, the flashings can be ultraviolet, and then the gutters and downpipes, the gutters we will make, what have we got, it's cobalt blue, and the downpipes will go and make royal blue. So we're going to OK that again. You can start to see the various components that make up this roof surface that's been applied. Now I have heard examples of people saving literally a couple of hours on big projects when doing this sort of stuff because automatically this just picks up and attaches to the roof itself. 